morning. Welcome to our special service today, a service of word and song as we are gathered here to worship the Lord. What are our joys and concerns? Um, next Sunday is third Sunday potluck and uh, we will be having ham as our uh, main meat and it will be a football theme. So bring your favorite football people. Everyone is welcome to come and join us and fellowship and fun and food and and uh, so after church next Sunday. And I'm just going to throw in, put on your favorite team shirt. Yeah, put on your favorite okay. team shirt. <laughs> Are there other joys and concerns? Gary will love that. Surely there's a few more joys in this church. We're right. asking good men to this church. Yes. Yeah, we've got sisters today. We're glad to have you come so worship with us today, and we hope that you will come again. Well, I'm going to share my joy. Ozzy's doing very well after getting his tubes in after his surgery. And uh, Thursday, and uh, Mother's doing well. <laughs> she was really stressful about it, and I understand that. We hate it when our children have problems. But he is doing well. Now, did I hear somebody else here? We're happy to have the Delta Omicron members here to perform and to Oh, okay. Us. So add to our song. All right. But there's no other choice and concerns. Well, we'll start with our first hymn, number 430. <laughs> Desert, 
towards my poor people, not to winnow or cleanse, a wind too strong for thou. Now it is I who speak in judgment against them. For my people are foolish, they do not know me. They are stupid children, they have no understanding. They are skilled in doing evil, but do not know how to do good. I looked on the earth, and lo, it was waste and void, and to the heavens, and they had no light. I looked on the mountains, and lo, they were quaking, and all the hills moved to and fro. I looked, and lo, there was no one at all, and all the birds of the air had fled. I looked, and lo, the fruitful land was a desert. And all its cities were laid in ruins before the Lord, before his fierce anger. For thus says the Lord, the whole land shall be a desolation, yet I will not make a full end. Because of this, the earth shall mourn, and the heavens above grow black. For I have spoken, I have purposed, I have not relented, nor will I turn back. This is the word of the Lord.
For God is with the company of the righteous. You would confound the plan of the poor, but the Lord is their refuge. Oh, that deliverance for Israel would come from Zion. When the Lord restores the fortune of his people, Jacob will rejoice, Israel will be glad. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now we come to the portion of our service where we call ourselves to confession. Using the words in your bulletin, let's offer our prayer of confession. Gracious and loving God, we find it difficult at times to place our trust in you. Too often we look at the world and see a few of our lives, pains, destruction, and signs of hopelessness and despair. Too often we rely on our own strength, on our own plans, on our own devices, rather than trusting in your hand. Forgive us, Holy One. Help us turn to you when we are lost, that we might find our way home. Help us navigate the treacherous waters of this world, that we might experience your abundant grace, mercy, and love. Help us put our trust in you, that the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus may shine. And now, this is our prayer that was supposed to go before what we just read. Gracious and loving God, we find it difficult at times to place our trust in you. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Friends, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just. He will forgive our sins and cleanse us from unrighteousness. In humility and faith, we have now confessed our sin to God. And now time for closed on side confession.
now a prayer for illumination. Guide us, O oh God, by your word and Holy Spirit, that in your light we may see light, in your truth find freedom, and in your will discover peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. So this lesson is a reading from the Gospel according to St. Luke. <clears throat> now all the tax collectors and sinners were coming near to listen to him. And the Pharisees and the scribes were grumbling and saying, This fellow welcomes sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. Which one of you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it. When he has found it, he lays it on its shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous people who need no repentance? Or what woman having 10 silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? When she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors saying, rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner who repents. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus our Lord, 
who has strengthened me because he judged me faithful and appointed me to his service, even though I was formerly a blasphemer, a persecutor, and a man of violence. But I received mercy because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief, and the grace of our Lord overflowed for me with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the foremost. But for that very reason, I received mercy, so that in me, as the foremost, Jesus Christ might display the utmost patience, making me an example to those who would come to believe in him for eternal life. The king of the ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. We praise and 
and thank you, O Lord, that you have fed us with your word. Grateful for your gifts, we offer to you our prayers for all people. We pray, O Lord, for people who are poor, the ones to whom you came with good news. Challenge us to hear that good news, to be agents of change and witnesses of love, to be makers of peace and sharers of bread. We pray, O Lord, for people who are captives, the ones to whom you came with release, for people who are victims of war or violence, for people who are captured by ideologies and systems. Release us, O Lord, release them, O Lord, and teach us to unbind one another's chains. We pray, O Lord, for your spirit, the spirit which blew over the waters of creation, the spirit which was upon you at baptism, the spirit which sustained your church through the ages, the Spirit was upon you, O Lord. May we notice her in our world, calling us to lives that reflect your justice and your mercy. O Lord of Providence, you hold the destiny of the nations in your hand. We pray for our country and for all the nations and peoples of the world. Inspire the hearts and minds of our leaders that they, together with all our other nations, may always pursue your justice, your peace, your kingdom, your unconditional love, and your radical hospitality. O oh God, take away the mistrust and lack of misunderstanding that divide your creatures and increase us in the recognition that we are all your children. Gracious God, accept our prayers offered in Jesus' name and give us the strength to wait patiently for your answer and to live faithfully in response to your call through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Join me in our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now at this time, let us share God's tithes and offerings. And your offering may be placed in the front of the church or here at the side.
and contentment, we offer our humble gifts and the service of our lives in the hope that they will be pleasing to you. We pray that with your blessing, they will produce a harvest of peace, healing, and love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank mm-hmm. you. 